when we came back to Wellington, the momentum was just building. It is all to play for here in Wellington. And the snowball started rolling of pressure and expectation. A place at South Africa 2010 at stake. One shot for glory. It was just awesome. During the 90 minute game under that type of pressure, it's a roller coaster. You can't as an individual get through it alone. You need your teammate. And it was just getting everybody in the right mindset to potentially perform at their best. When this is over, only you as that individual player will know if you've absolutely given everything. Rises to the cross, Rory Fallon. Teammates can't tell, coaches can't tell, fans won't really be able to tell. Make sure you can look in that mirror and know you've given absolutely everything. Said Adnan, great save, Mark Preston. What a save. Don't ever die at wondering. That last 10 minutes felt like 10 hours. It was absolutely deafening. It is pandemonium here at Westpac Stadium. The crowd could sense it. It was going to be a where were you type of moment when it happened, and it was. Ricky Herbert's men have emerged from the shadows and into the lights. New Zealand are going to South Africa. Normally, often doesn't really sink in until the adrenaline kind of goes away and the tiredness creeps in and you're sitting down and then you're like, oh my God, if this was what it was like and to get there, imagine what it's going to be like when you're actually there. That's a great ball in front spells, a chance, they've equalised! New Zealand have equalised! It is one word! You have to try and produce results on the biggest sporting stage there is. Good delivery, Elliot, a chance, New Zealand! Scored! New Zealand lead! Incredibly, the All Whites lead the Azuri. More nervous now than I probably was before the game in 2009, in all honesty. <laughs> um, there will be key moments. That's the one thing that I absolutely will know. And it's always that time where maybe you're tired so you don't make that run. Well, if you made that run, that could have been a key moment. That could have been a key moment where you get on the end of a cross or you get back to defend and you save a goal. And there's just these little windows of opportunity that the players have got to decide whether they're going to take them or not. And you've just got to hope that when those kind of opportunities happen, we're on the good side. The 82 team was just an amazing team. And they'll always be remembered as, as legends for what they did. They pushed the game forward just incredibly. And as the kind of momentum maybe was dropping, the 2010 team kind of lifted it up again. And now it's, it's kind of this group's time. Every time I go back to New Zealand, the only really talk I want to talk about is these the World Cup games. You just get remembered for doing well for your country. It's a legacy thing. I just love these players to go through that.